What's up guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the Ballista from Latitude 64. So, um, <clears throat> I have two of them here. These are both Snowline Ballistas, which are, um, they don't actually make Snowline anymore, but it's very, very comparable to the Gold Line. Um, but anyway, yeah, the Ballista is a distance driver, fairly overstable, um, and it's pretty glidey, like, um, for me personally, it's pretty overstable. Um, the more beat in one, I can get it to flip if, if I throw it really hard. Um, but even with the overstability, um, they're pretty nice because they have a lot of glide, so they can go pretty far, but they'll still have that reliable hyzer, hyzer out at the end. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, overall, they're just pretty reliable. Um, Pretty easy to grip, especially the snow line, which, like I said, compares a lot to the gold line. Very easy to grip, um, and they are very fast, so you can just get a lot of distance with these. Even if you're not getting the full flight out of them, they're pretty glidey and pretty fast, so they're going to go pretty far for you. Um, and if you are throwing, I don't know, maybe 400 feet or so, these things are going to be flying very nice for you. You'll probably get a nice flip over with them and they just ride for a long time. Lots of glide. Um, but yeah, for me personally, I throw about 320, 350, um, and these are pretty overstable, but if I throw it really hard, um, I can get them to just maybe flip a little bit, or especially in a headwind or something, and they go pretty far and are pretty reliable um, in winds and whatnot. So, yeah, nice disc to have in your bag if you're throwing 400 feet, a great distance driver. Even if you're not, great, um, it's just a great overstable driver. It'll go pretty far, but have that nice reliable finish at the end. Um, so yeah, just great disc in general. So, yeah, that will wrap up this review for today. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe, and we'll see you next time.